All right, so some of you are gonna be ready to move on today to start painting your mandala. Some of you might still be finishing up drawing. That's totally fine. Once again, just make sure you have the image that you are wanting to use saved to your Chromebook because you are going to want to zoom in, okay? Um, so where would you start? Well, you're gonna start from the center, okay? It's really important when you're doing your mandala that you don't hop around and you don't skip around because you're gonna get lost and then things are gonna get off. For example, if you're doing a mandala where you have these points and you do this one and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna do this one, well, then all of the circles might not fit where you need them to fit. I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, if your mandala is circular like this, you're definitely gonna to wanna to start from the center and kind of work your way out in circular motions. If your mandala has kind of a snowflake or a spear shape like this, I would maybe even recommend starting in the middle, then doing these shapes, the points, and then working in and filling in the negative spaces in between. Okay, so really important. Take a look at the size of the dots in your image. Decide which of the tools that you have will work best for each dot size. You're going to wipe your tool with a paper towel in between colors. You do not need to wash the tools until the end of class. You do not have to share the tools with people at your table. That is what we would have done last year. This year I have purchased enough for all of you to have your own. Um, the only thing is you're going to have to share them with the next class. So that's why we have to wash them at the end of class too so that they sanitize. And then each day you'll just get your own and you'll have your own bag to use, okay? Will you have to mix some colors for the colors you need? Absolutely, you might have to mix colors. Um, and you can just do that using your, your dot tools, okay? Um, you do not get to get very much paint. You won't need it. Mr. O is gonna hand out paint. He's gonna give you three colors at a time. If you need more colors than that, you can go up and get more after you've used it, but he's not gonna give you very much paint, okay? These tools do not require a whole lot of paint. Um, and so he's just gonna give you a little bit at a time, okay? I will talk about this more in just a second, but when you are laying your dots, for example, in this one, you can see that there's a big circle and a smaller one, and then a smaller one, and then a smaller one. There's four layers. You're gonna have to be layering dots at some point. You do have to let them dry completely in between. If you try and go on top of a dot with a wet dot, it's gonna distort the size and the shape of the dot. So you'll have plenty of time, I promise. Let one layer dry completely. So if like, say for example, you were going to do this dark dot today, which you probably won't, but you would want to let it dry until the next class period and then come back and add the next layer, okay? If you do not take your time, if it is sloppy, if your dots do not look like circles, if you do not add your layers, if you do not have them in nice rows, Mr. O will make you start over. 100% you will start over, okay? Um, so this is kind of a lesson in patience. If they can create sand mandalas that they had to train for for five years, you can paint a mandala project for a week and a half, all right? So in just a second, I'm gonna demonstrate how I would um, begin painting your projects and then you will be able to start working today. So I just wanted to show you what materials you're gonna need each day to paint your mandala, okay? So Mr. O will be sitting at the front round table with paint for you guys. You're allowed to get three colors of paint at a time. This is honestly plenty of paint. You don't need any more than that, okay? If you need more, you can just ask them. You're gonna need a paper towel and then you're each gonna get your own bag of mandala tools. Now. You do not have to share this bag with anyone else in your class. However, you are going to have to share it with the other eighth grade class. So at the end of each class, you're responsible for cleaning them and putting them away. All right. In each bag, there are a variety of mandala tools. Okay. So how this works is obviously the smaller the tip at the end, the smaller dot you're going to have. The bigger tip at the end, the bigger dot you're going to have. So I just kind of want to play around with it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so all you'll do is you'll dip your tool into the paint and then you'll dot it on your paper. Okay, now you might have to tap it a few times. See how I'm just kind of tapping it? You might have to tap it a few times to get the paint to fill in the entire circle. All right. If you just quickly dot it, you might not get the outcome that you're looking for. You're going to have to reapply paint every time and then put your circle down. Okay? So that's kind of what a bigger one looks like. 
when you are done using that color, all you'll do is you'll just wipe it off on your paper towel the best that you can, get it nice and clean, and then you can put it away. It cleans off really easily. All right, if you're using a smaller one, same thing applies. You just have to get more paint every time. Okay, and I know those are really little, but I just wanted to show you kind of the difference. Okay, um, this project is going to require a lot of patience because if you rush through it, it's going to look bad. So let me show you what, do you see how the dots start getting different sizes? Okay, you want them to be the same sizes. So once again, when you're done, you'll just use your paper towel, you'll wipe it off, and yes, you can get more than one paper towel in a class period if you need to. Okay, these are the only tools we have, so we have to take care of them. You'll just wipe it off and put it back. Okay. Um, we talked about layering. So obviously, you're going to have to layer dots on top of each other. So, for instance, if I was going to layer on these white dots, you would have to let them dry completely before you go in and add another layer because I'm going to show you. It kind of just blobs together and it doesn't look really good. Okay. So, if you're laying dots on top of each other, you are going to have to wait until the next class period to go in and add your next layer. All right. If you would like, um, you can practice with these just a little bit before. Get used to using them before you start on your final project because I know I would want to do that if I've never used these tools before. Okay, but here's what's going to be really important about this project. One is are your dots nice and round? Are they the same shape? Or are they all over the place? Okay, because that will tell me that you rushed through it and you didn't take your time. Two, are the dots equally spaced? Or do you have one dot way over here and one dot here? Okay, I just want to know that you're taking your time and you're looking at the detail and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right, at the end of every class, you do need to go to the sink and you need to wash these off and then dry them. Okay, please, please, please dry them before you put them back in the bag and give them to Mr. O for the next class. Okay, you will have plenty of time to finish this project, so please take your time. Once again, it's kind of a lesson in patience, and if you do not take your time, it will be pretty noticeable.